it's my great pleasure now to have our guest of honor this evening, and, and the ambassador of the DPRK, His <coughs> Excellency, uh, Comrade uh, Hyun Pak. First of all, let me express our thanks and gratitude for strong support and solidarity to the Korean people in this struggle to defend the sovereignty and, you know, uh, uh, defend our, our service against the provocative war, war actions by the United States and our enemies. It is a really good encouragement to the people. You know, I really appreciate that. And I'm I'm very much moved by your by the speakers well informative and very correct analysis of the situation as well as your um, assessment and you know your uh, strong strong uh, statement of support. Well, I'd like to stress that uh, one, or, one or two things. As you are well aware, these days the Western media, including the UK, uh, Reuters and BBC or uh, Telegraph or Guardian, all, all newspapers and mass, mass media are talking about uh, tense situation on the Korean Peninsula. But the point is, the problem here is that uh, they are describing as if deep air Korea is provocating, but that is not true. We are being provoked by the United States and South Korea, and we are only responding to that provocation and, and, to, to, and to their uh, military threat. You know, It is the United States that sparked the tensions on the Korean Peninsula. You know, as is well known, uh, Deep Air Korea launched a satellite, a peaceful satellite for scientific purpose, in December uh, last year. When we launched the satellite, we made it clear this is for peaceful, and we informed the international organizations, including international maritime organization in London saying that this is for just peaceful and we you know remind the international community that you know since we are launching you know uh, they needed to be caution so you know we follow the international norms but the United States uh, insists that this is a long-range missile you know, missile, long-range missile or you know, satellite use the same technology. They use the rocket. So under that uh, uh, situation, Deep Air Korea invited the you know international space exports and mass media to come and see what is what we are doing to show the transparency. And we want we want them we want them to see. Ours is just for peaceful, not for military purpose. However, the United States passed the what they call the resolution condemning the peaceful satellite. And they said they would, do, they, they would use military, exercise, military, military actions against the Korea. Korea. And the, you know, in, in response to that, the Korea, Korea, you know, uh, conducted a third nuclear test in order to, you know, strengthen our capacity to defend ourselves. And United States and South Korea and Japan, you know, initiated what they called a stronger resolution against the, you know, Deep Air Korea after the nuclear test. Then they said that they would they would put the uh, threat into action by staging the military, joint military exercises with South Korea. You know, 10, more than 200,000 militaries are participating in that. And 
And for, unfortunately, United, United Kingdom dispatched their military to that military exercise. It's codenamed you know, uh, Eagle Fire. It is now currently, it is now being waged at this moment in South Korea against the Deep Air Korea. So, uh, our, in, in that uh, very grave situation, you know, in front, you know, facing the grave situation, our respected leader, Comrade Kim Jong Un, declared that, you know, Deep Air Korea, you know, uh, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Deep Air Korea would react to the U.S. nuclear blackmail with a merciless nuclear attack and war of aggression with an all-out war justice. And, and then he finally signed a plan on technical preparations of strategic rockets of the Korean People's Army, ordering them to be stand by for fire so that they may strike any time the U.S. mainland its military bases in operational theaters in the Pacific including Hawaii and Guam and those in South Korea. You know, <clears throat> this is a very justifiable and reasonable response to the United States. United States is a superpower equipped with up-to-date modern nuclear, nuclear, nuclear uh, tools, right? Nuclear, nuclear, what? nuclear yeah. instruments. You know, as the speakers rightly said then, they are mobilizing uh, strategic nuclear bombers, B-52 and B-2. And again, they flew over South Korea, South Korea, the F-25, F-22 jet fighters, you know, and they are practicing targeting the deep air Korea so under that very serious discussion, very, very serious around circumstances, our uh, leadership declared our, responsible, our response. That is, strike back the nuclear blackmail with nuclear war. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, well supported by the you know, peace-loving people all over the world. You know, uh, and in this regard, you know, I really thank you for you know solidarity meeting and good message. So <laughs> so you know the the actually around the deep air Korea, I mean the, the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula was the policy of the deep air Korea. But at this time, under the prevailed situation, we cannot accept the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula as long as since the United States blackmailed Deep Air Korea with nuclear weapons from the from the beginning of the 1950s as uh, you know Comrade Kiss mentioned you know in detail we have been under nuclear threat for more than for, for 60 years you know uh, every successive uh, government of the United States proclaimed that all the necessary <coughs> means are not off the table, including the nuclear weapons. So, you know, we were forced to develop our nuclear, nuclear weapons in order to defend ourselves. This is very just, you know, we are proud of that. You know. Last March, March 31st, our respected you know, comrade Kim Jong Un set forth a strategic line on pushing forward simultaneously the line of economic construction and nuclear arms. In, in other words, <coughs> it is a, it is an advancement, and you know it is an advanced advanced policy based on the simultaneous, simultaneous uh, development of uh, economic construction and uh, national, national defense, which the policy, of, the, pol the policy of which was put forward in 1962 by our great leader, President Kim Il-sung. So our, our 
great leader, Jack, our great leader Comrade Kim Il Sung, and great leader uh, Comrade Kim Jong Un lay the basis to defend ourselves in any circumstances in which the United States can break break the wall of nuclear can break the nuclear wall. So our nuclear uh, weapons serve as a strong war deterrent you know, and war deterrent to defend our national security and to defend our sovereignty. So I, I wanted to just you know point 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 out this, you know. And if you have any questions, you know, I'm prepared to you know to reply or to answer. Thank you. very grateful to you that you came to this, this meeting so you could see the sentiment of, I suppose I'm a biased person, of the best working class organization in this country towards the question of Korea. We may not at the moment have the following of the majority of the working class in this country, but we hope to put that thing right. We hope to be able to do that. So these people in this room represent the finest of the working class in this country and they are with you. And, and they are with you because they understand the significance of defending other socialist countries. Being Marxist Leninists, we're not guided by nationalism, we're guided by proletarian internationalism. That is the bedrock of our solidarity. What you do helps us a lot, and whatever little we do, we hope it helps you because we are intent to take this message beyond this room and try and spread it as far as, 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 as widely as we can. But I think really on a world, world scale your message is well, well understood. It's only in the imperialist countries that your message is not well understood. We work in an imperialist country and we intend to put that right.